So like I was saying, today we're taking a look at what I think is one of the better bushcrafting pocket knives. And what this knife ultimately is, is the Great Eastern Cutlery Pocket Carver. Now, Great Eastern Cutlery makes a lot of knives for traditional EDC and pocket carry. And while I don't think that they make a particularly bad pocket knife for bushcrafting, I think that the pocket carver is one of their better offerings. And the primary reason why that is, is due to the fact that it is specifically a carving knife, or it's designed with carving in mind. And when they designed this pocket carver, they designed it to have three blades, one primary, two secondaries, and they are all in this similar shape and this shape in particular this Warncliffe is a particularly good carving tip it allows you to have pretty good tip strength overall mixed with a good and very delicate tip that allows you to get in and do a lot of fine cutting and that is exactly what this knife does very well this knife can carve four days and do a pretty darn good job at it so, like I said, this is the primary edge there, and all three blades are made out of 1095. You can see that they all have half stops, which, in my opinion, I'm not the largest fan of the half stop. I think it's kind of convoluted, in my opinion, but it's kind of a safety feature so that you're not necessarily having the knife come down on your fingers, but in my opinion, it's not particularly necessary. However, this is how the knife is built, and... Like I said, these are the secondary edges, or I should say secondary blades. They're both the same size and the same shape, like I was saying, but they're just a little bit smaller than the primary blade, and they allow for even more detailed carving and crafting if that's what you choose to do. So anyways, like I was saying, the, aside from the 1095 blades, it ha comes in an orange Delrin handle, and I think there are a few other options. I just chose the orange Delrin for matching my Legome. I will say it is a little bit slick, but by and large, the ergonomics are good enough that when you hold the blade, it doesn't really feel like it's gonna slip out of your hand. And in addition to that, uh, this is a carving knife, so it's not like you're going to be doing a lot of robust stabbing or prying with the blade. So it's not particularly uh, important that it has like extreme traction. In fact, I like the traction that the blade has, and that is really none, because this is a blade because this is a blade designed to be held for a long period of time and is designed to carve with. So you're going to be using it for, like I said, extended periods of time, cutting, taking your time, and not doing anything too crazy with it. So as far as the blade shape goes, it's one thing to look like a carving knife, but in my experience, the blade has been very good, especially in its 1095. I haven't experienced any tip breakage or anything really adverse with the edge or the blade. The heat treat seems to be pretty good. Um, I will say out of box, the only thing that I was really disappointed with when it comes to the edge is the fact that uh, this particular main blade, it seems like it had a good grind, but the bevel was incomplete. So you'll probably notice that the blade looks a little bit uh, scratched up. And that's because I had to come back through and put another bevel on this blade because essentially it was just hitting wood and sliding instead of actually biting into the wood. And obviously being a carving knife, that was pretty annoying because its primary job is to carve. And so it wasn't doing a very good job at that. So after I did that, and granted this being 1095, it didn't take a particularly long time to reprofile. But after I reprofiled it and gave it a little bit better bevel, it now does its job very well. And I can sit down for, you know, good 30, 40 minutes and really carve with this uh, main blade and the secondaries to pretty good effect. So aside from the edge not being sharp or the bevel not being sharpened, uh, I really don't have much complaint with this knife. I think that this is a very good bushcrafting folder because because it's the type of knife that you can throw in a pocket slip like this and you can throw it in your pocket and just completely forget about it. But when you need something to do carving or very fine tasks, something that, you know, a bushcrafting blade like the 
Bark River Knives Bushcrafter or even the Legume are just a little bit too big for. This little pocket carver is great. And the other thing I like about the pocket carver is being that it's so small and that it's so lightweight, all things considered, it's a great kind of backup so that you can use this in place of your main bushcrafting blade. So if you don't want to dull or put that extra use on your main bushcrafting blade, you want to keep it sharp for other camp tasks, you can use this little guy to pretty great effect and do a lot of your smaller, more fine tasks with this knife. So if you guys are thinking about it, I believe Knives Ship Free are one of the I believe KSF or Knives Ship Free is one of the only companies online that has these guys, but I would definitely give the GEC or Great Eastern Cutlery Pocket Carver a look. They are pretty cool little knives, and like I said, if you're looking for a blade to balance your primary bushcrafting knife, uh, something that allows you to do carving and fine detailed work very well, or at least just offset the use of on your main blade, you might give the pocket carver a look because I've been pretty impressed with it and I've definitely been using the heck out of it. And like I said, if you get it from Knives Ship Free, um, they will give you a free pocket slip like this. You can just throw this in your pocket and it works very well. So anyways guys, that is the GEC Pocket Carver, and that is really all I have to say about it. As always, God bless, and I'm out.